So our next lesson is uh, we're going to be talking a small bit more, something that we've touched on a small bit in Beginners 1 and in our last tune there is just about coming up into the high scale. So when I say high scale, I mean notes that are above high D. So we're going into our second octave, okay? So I'm just going to show you uh, where those notes are on the accordion. And um, and then after that, then uh, show you how to make your way up and down um, all those uh, notes with ease and the easiest possible way to do it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to show you where those notes are. So we're going to start because it goes from high D, which we've uh, um, uh, done in other uh, in the last tune and we've gotten as far as high e which is the next one just above um uh above d but we're going to explore the next couple of notes above that so it goes from high d e which we've touched on already and we've touched on f i think as well which is on the outside row so that's usually how I'd make my way up. So if I'm going up to the high octave, I like, as I said before, I move with my second finger. The reason why I move with my second finger up and down is that um, if I need to play a note below where, where I am at the moment, I have my first finger. And if I need to, do, uh, to play notes above that, I have my third finger and my pinky to do it. So that's why I think it's useful to move which your second finger, which I'll show you now. So if I was starting to go up the scale into the next octave from high D, I'd start on high D with my second finger. And then in for E on the same button. And if I was going over across to F, I'd slide, slide over to F with the same finger. Now our third finger comes into play. We play our G with that. That's high G. And next thing, the next note is A. But A, unlike the lower octave, isn't on the same button as G. It's the next one down. So, so I go up there with my um, with my third finger as well. And our last. Um, our last note on that scale then is high B which we're going to play with our pinky which is the lowest note on the inside row so that's it that's our high octave I'm just going to uh, do that again and how I would go up uh, up and down uh, that, uh, that octave so starting on D again with our second finger in for E, slide across to F, which is in the same direction, on the push, up to G with our third, same direction, push again. Now we're going to change direction going up to A, but we're going to use our third finger as well, so hop up, or down as the case may be. And then our final, um, our final note, the B then with our baby finger and that's all we're going to be using anyway I don't think we even use the B but that's um, but there, there there will be in other tunes so even working our way down from high B let's say so we start off as we finished with our baby finger on high B and we're going to play A with our third finger as we did And we're going to go down with our third finger, down to G again. Change direction, which is in. Now what I do, coming from high G to F. So if I want to get from G to E through F, what I do is I slide down with my third finger. Slide my third finger down to F, which is on the outside row. And then E with my second finger. 
D. So we'll go up and down again in one motion, okay? So D, E, F, G, A, B, A, G, F, E, D. So that's just exploring uh, where the notes are in the higher octave. So in the next lesson, uh, we're going to use a few of those notes that we learned in the higher octave and um, uh, bring them into the tune that we're learning. So see you in the next lesson.